<laughs> so the difference between PP and SP, I think this is the last thing I really need to mention. PP are only earned through just time accumulation by chatting, and you earn those points. They're PP points. They can only be used in this particular save game. So if I quit this game and move to another save or another world, those points just go away. They're just for that world only. SP are special points. You either get them by killing me and you get that reward pool or by bit donations. Either way. If you uh, do bit donations, they add SP to your uh, your account instead of PP. SP, carry over. SP, you can travel between my saves and uh, use them on whatever world I happen to be playing on. Otherwise, they spend and uh, are worth exactly the same in regards to how you summon things. Let's, uh, let's do some work. Might as well get some XP while we're sitting up here. Burn some stamina. Good old radiators. Fortunately, there's not much else up here I can interact with. What does SP do? Hmm. There's no difference between SP and PP in their functionality. The only difference is how you get them. And that SP allow you to carry over and use them on other game worlds. Other saves. Otherwise, they are identical. enough to worry about. Should hold on to some extras in case I die. Did we find the boosted early game stage not quite the change we wanted? I take it. I'm not sure what that means. I'm still I still have the XP boost on, so we're still going to advance through the game stages faster. I was just getting uh, bored in our previous world because I had pretty much done everything and uh, I wanted to have a new run where I talked a little bit more about the basics of the game and um, I plan on sending this one over to the YouTube channel. So we started a brand new one so I could accomplish those goals. Every time I go out in the dark, though, these big mean people put slow on me and start summoning zombies. It's rude. So, I am, uh, I'm showing them that the result of that bad behavior is uh, they get to watch me sit next to the campfire, <laughs> wielding a wrench. Got to teach them the consequences of their actions. Oh, somebody's downstairs knocking on a wall. No, we didn't start on an extra game stage. <laughs> it started exactly the same way as this one. I made no changes. And if you just joined in, there are commands you can type in to check your point total. That hashtag CP that you see people using is giving them their point totals. And then hashtag GS will tell you the game stage, the current game stage that we're at. Which controls which options are available for the audience to use. My plan for the earlier game, for the folks that have been following along recently with my Seven Days to Die stuff, is um, 
possibly tomorrow afternoon, sometime in the, in the afternoon. Uh, that tends to be more where I had been playing it, so more people in that time zone will be uh, available or will will have points. Uh, I'll log that game world back in, and then I'll let you guys have at me without me being able to access my bicycle. <laughs> and we'll see if you can kill me. It, it, it's impossible, of course. None of none of you can kill me. I'm immortal. But um, we'll let you give it a try. What I need right now is I need for somebody to send me one more wheel and a bicycle frame. <laughs> if I can get a wheel and a bicycle frame, I'll be willing to go out in the dark. <laughs> Until I have a bike, I'm not willing to go out into the dark. Not with, uh, with you folks throwing zombies at me and slowing me down while they get to sprint. <laughs> that, that's a recipe for death. I'm not afraid of the dark. <laughs> it's definitely not the dark I'm afraid of. <laughs> I like the dark. The dark is my friend. Well, that's not what I... <laughs> that's not what I uh, was looking to do. That's interesting. Let's fill that in, <laughs> so I don't accidentally step on that. If I had a lot of wood, I could sit here and just process frames just for the XP, but I don't have a lot of wood right now. Alright, we ran out of ducting. That's, uh, that's pretty much the last thing I could manipulate. I guess we could go up on that roof. Shall we go look what's up there? Let's go look what's up there. So you can hang out up here if you're really nervous about the blood moon, the early blood moon. Then really nothing is going to be able to come after you. <laughs> Unless you get a, a wild early vulture or two, but uh, those should be pretty easy to take down by the blood moon time. Three o'clock, it's almost time to get moving again. All right, so to reiterate the plan, we're going to get our trusty wrench. We're going to work our way across the city to fill in the central area here so I can get an idea of what we got. Then we're going to work our way up to the merch. We're going to buy that shock baton and that AK. And we're probably going to keep wrenching. <laughs> we're just going to keep wrenching. I need cash because the day t tomorrow will be new item at the merchant's day. So I want to make sure I have cash on hand to take advantage. Hey, hey. Look at that. Look at that. What a champion. <laughs> Murder of phoenixes. Exactly what I asked for. That's ridiculous. And the good news is, I don't need a workbench to uh, to put this together. I can make it right here. No tools needed. As soon as I grab a mechanical part, which you know I have because I've used a wrench to take cars apart, which means I have all this miscellaneous crap that you find you need. Early wrench, kids. It's the key to the to the early game. Get a wrench. Easiest way to do that, find buildings with lots of bathrooms. Orchard Hotel is a great early place to loot because you got the, uh, the two kitchen areas on the bottom floor, one on each side of the building, where you can guaranteed get a uh, pot to cook in, tons of uh, hydration, and you got a whole bunch of um, opportunities to get a wrench out of a bunch of different sinks. We have achieved peak bicycle. Ha <laughs> The madness begins. I'll still wait till light and then we'll head on down. The bicycle op opens up quite a few possibilities. So now I won't have to be quite as noivous about uh, nighttime. I know you'll still be mean to me, but at least I can hop on the bike and I can still stay ahead of the zombies. Plus it gives us extra, extra carry capacity. How to get a bike? Well, you run the Twitch integration mod and then you, you beg and plead your white hats to send you one. <laughs> if that's not an option, then uh, you kind of have to wait. <laughs> there is a process to it. If you, uh, if you go to the intellect line and you go to Grease Monkey, right here, the first skill is Bicycle Mechanic. 
And it says, can craft bicycle parts. Craft wheels and bicycle parts cheaper. So, you can, uh, you can actually make a wheel. Which takes these things. This is where the, uh, the, the wrench comes in handy. Because you can get forged iron just by wrenching down destroyed workbenches and cement mixers and chemistry stations and so on that you find. So all of those broken ones you can wrench down to get the iron and that will then allow you to put the bike together pretty quickly. So you get this, this, and this from... Uh, well, you get most of the stuff you're going to need just from wrenching cars down. You'll need a few other extraneous things. But you can put a bike together easily in the first few days anyway. So it just saves me a little bit of time and spending a point in that mechanics skill. But all the vehicles are kind of tied to that particular skill. So, oops. Grease Monkey, you got the bike, you got the mini bike, you got the motorcycle, you got the 4x4, and then you've got the, uh, the gyrocopter. So each level of this unlocks access to craft uh, one of the vehicles. The only other option is to buy it from the merchant. Get a lot of cash together, and you can sometimes buy the vehicles from the merchants outright. That's what I did last run. I got an early motorcycle by having, happening to have enough money to purchase it. I think I purchased it on day seven. Something like that. He was either the day four or day seven merchant uh, restock. All right, let's turn that off. And um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, what am I at? What am I at? Uh, 92 and 50, or no, 52 and 68. So I need uh, 50 food and eh, about, we'll call it 40 water. So, there's 36 food. And we'll have a uh, ravioli and sauce. That's 51. That'll fill me up. Uh, let's go ahead and have a yucca juice. And a red tea. And that should take care of most of my hydration needs. I also need to stock my water. I think I'll take my water bottles with me. See if we can get those refilled. Okay, let's get out of here. Take the uh, the alternate route. Love my alternate route. Aha! Bike is deployed. Hmm. Shouldn't have brought quite so many of those. Okay, our path is uh, thus away. Snake! Alright, invulnerable snake. <laughs> I am definitely hitting the space it's in. Oh crap, I think we're broke. Can I, I can break grass. It's a super invulnerable mega snake. Alright, at least it's showing it's hitting the concrete now. <laughs> it took too long. See, see, zombies and slow. Decrepitation. All right, let's get moving. Ah, uh, oh, the buzzards are here. The buzzards are here. <laughs> Oh, crap. I forgot the buzzards were going to be arriving. So many buildings I need to loot still. I still need to hit the popping pills. Let's go up here. Then go across. I think I will stop to loot more vehicles as opportunity permits. Oh, please tell me I still... Yeah, all right. I was worried I didn't have my repair kit with me. There's an engine. No battery. No battery. Oh, my poor stamina. Need more sexy Rexy. I'm overheated again, huh?
When do we get melee boost? <laughs> There's a battery. Melee boost is what I really need. That really speeds things up. Has it arrived yet? I'm not sure it's it's available this early. Okay, uh, we've got another block to go. So, we got the town hall. Uh, I hope this isn't all just demolished commercial industrial. Looking like that might be what it is. Car park. Let's see, I want to swing south first, and then loop around so I can... Oh yeah, this whole area is going to suck. It's all just big open areas with uh, the big buildings. I still haven't seen an ostrich hotel. We got the other hotel. It's hard to get the hit on the bird before it's on me. It's the Amazonian bouncing snake. I don't want a level... Oh, I got another level 6 battery out of that last one. Awesome! We're rich! We're loaded. Another engine. <laughs> explosives? We got the explosives now, do we? <laughs> Lots of dynamite. Eggs, please. Okay. Oh, yeah, this building sucks. This whole area sucks. Old middle of the city zone I came over to look at. It's not going to have anything I want. Not quite far enough south to get it all mapped in. Buzz's bar. Berserk Bills, passing gas. Alright, so we got that part filled in. I'll probably have to do another ride around town when I've got the motorcycle, just to get a better look at everything so I remember it better. The pitter-patter of zombie feet. No good stuff. Hmm. Don't blow that up while my bike's right next to you. <laughs> Rude when that happens. Time to change directions. Joey's car lot. Well, there might be one or two vehicles there. Given my limited knowledge of the game and the, 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 the buildings, <laughs> maybe there's a couple of vehicles here that I have seen once or twice. Yeah, boost melee would be awesome in here. Whoa! Shotgun Messiah, Adrenaline Fall. Not into the collecting cop or collecting brass yet. Let's hide away the level six battery. I gotta remember to keep an eye out for the uh, 
A water source. I'm sure I probably passed one. I know the hotel I went near probably has one. Oh, well, thanks. So we're getting XP when we do this as well. And we're accumulating just a large amount of general materials that we need for crafting random things. I highly recommend doing a wrenching run as early as you can. Save yourself a lot of hassle. Let's repair our wrench. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't go anywhere. It just stops working. Uh, I'm running out of space pretty quick. No battery. No battery. All right, you winded freak. You need to do some more cardio. So I'm out of slots. Anything else I put on is going to slow me down and weigh me down. We got some engines. We got the battery. I forgot to bring the cash. <laughs> or did I put it on the bike? I forgot to bring the cash. Of course I did. Ah. Uh oh. Oof, that was weird looking. All right, we're gonna leave the rest of those vehicles. Yeah, I forgot to bring the cash, so we have to go back to our base and then straight to the merch. I think I'll finish exploring this later. I gotta make absolutely sure I go get the uh, get the gear. <laughs> before the day goes by. Yeah, we just gained, uh, I think it just went up again. Oh yeah, new actions are available. Oh, the spiders here. <laughs> Biker, soldier, all of the ammo stuff got upgraded, all the weapons got upgraded. So, yeah, that's one of the big ones right there. That's why I need to make sure I get a hold of a gun. I can't really deal very well with a lot of those spawns they just enabled for you guys without uh, firepower. So, supply weapons, supply ammo. I think with that, your guys' weapon drops, instead of the blunderbuss, is now going to have the first level of the guns. So, the pistol, maybe the AK, and I think the double barrel shotgun. Breaking stuff. Not sure I can hit that. There we go. Yep, there's the double barrel. Grab that. So, if I get enough shotgun ammo, that will uh, obsolete the blunderbuss. Okay, actually, I'm going to sell that stuff anyway. We'll keep a hold of that. Um, we'll replace that. I don't need that. Selling. Okay, we have our cash. We have things on the bike to sell and plus my inventory to sell. Um, mm, 
That I'm definitely not going to wear. That will sell. Uh, we got a backup already. Trying to remember. I don't want to fall all the way down. Yeah, that's what I figured. Somebody was there. Hey, Zombo. I don't want you to be there. Shoot, shoot you in the leg. I really don't want him to be in the entrance there. That's where I don't want him. Alright, I think I'm going to have to go around the long way. To be safe. Safer. Hey, zombie, get down here. Okie doke. Off to the merchant we go. Did I ever? I never did that other mission, did I? No, I didn't do that mission. Uh, I don't remember. Oh, yeah, he did not have a mission. So, yeah, we'll just go back there. Chicken! Hmm. <laughs> Now what's going to happen is I'm going to spend all my money, and then tomorrow morning... Uh-oh, Papa Wheelie. <laughs> just, just a flat no, huh? You're not going up that curb? So yeah, I'll... Uh, I'll spend all my money, and then tomorrow there will be... Oh, God. Bikers out, out and about. Tomorrow there will be a motorcycle for sale, and I won't have the cash for it. That's what's going to happen. Sell, 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 sell. Don't need this anymore. Sell that also. I hope they have a merchant mission in the local well, area. Look what the cat dragged in. Nope. <laughs> Six miles. That's a new, I think that's a new record. <laughs> Six miles. Or kilometers. 6.3 kilometers. That's that's a new record, I think. I don't remember ever seeing one farther away than that. <laughs> I don't know what's, what's up with this merchant. There's a town right next to you, idiot. Why you gotta be sending me so many weird places? North and south from here. I mean, south from here is... Well, I guess technically we can go south from here. There's desert. It goes farther. Who knows what's north. But, I mean, <laughs> we have all this available. Why no southwest relatively close? All right, she's only going to buy three of these engines, and I might not need to sell them. I need them longer term for other uses, but uh, let's make sure she buys that. And those, I'm never going to use the dynamite. So, do I sell the engines? We're quite a ways from uh, building any, so I think I am. All right. Uh, so, Stun Baton level two. Oh, it's only. Oh, that's right. We lowered the price because we raised our skill. Speaking Thank of which, so am I hey, done? Am I done with that particular skill? I can get it up one more level. Yeah, let's do that. That way, I get uh, up to fifteen percent. So we'll improve the price, and we'll also get to see a better secret stash. And that'll be as high as I take it for a little while. Then I got to focus on the electrocutioner. So, yes to that. Another double barrel spear I don't care about. And a hammer. Well, that fills in another gap. 
All right, so secret stash first. Marksman rifle, steel armor. A little bit of 762 and a ratchet mini bike chassis all right so nothing uh super important here back to here still want the level two stun baton i wish it was level three i'd pay the extra that way i could put two mods on it but we'll go with what we can get so we want that and we want the ak and unfortunately, there's no 762. So, Forge Steel. So, we'll buy that 762. It's not nearly enough. I think that's it for the moment. Well, you just brightened my day. I'm glad I could help you. Okay, let's move these things down. There we go. Don't need you anymore. Oops. Nine mil. <laughs> I need uh, I need the seven six two. I'm not sure it'll give me seven six two yet. So while we're at the uh, the water side, we'll go ahead and fill up our water. Nasty murky water. Another task accomplished. All right, let's work our way over to the uh, the mission. If we can complete that. We'll head back to that other merchant. Oh, we do have farms and barns. That's good to know. Let's get them on my map. A lot of cement in the farms. So in anticipation of the new inventory tomorrow, I still want to make sure I have cash available. So we're going to keep wrenching. I should have enough of the intermediate materials that will be okay for quite a while. It's pretty much just cash and XP. I guess I should. Oh, everything is loaded. Cool. Keep moving. Uh oh. We know this house. Right there. <laughs> we shall return. <laughs> Extreme prejudice. Stupid vultures. Yeah, I'm worried it's not going to give me 7.62. I don't have a 9 mil solution for guns at the moment. Oh, 
No workbench. Tools. No tools either. You gotta remember, I also don't have... I don't have the skill points ratcheted up on uh, this guy yet for the shock baton. Alright, let's just start it. Where is it at? Floramon! Nope, not the Floramon. Damn it! I did not want it to be up high again. Why you keep doing that to me, game? Give me the easy loots. So, it is... Right up there. Probably in that room. Right? Yep, right up there. A grill? No grill. Yeah. Actually, it's right there. That's acceptable. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm going through the, uh, the contouring instead of the actual lock. Come on. Cool. Uh, I thought the last thought the last hit was gonna uh, shock him. Crossbow, huh? Uh, huh? That's a little interesting. Have this. Get all all thirsty off of our charred meat. Scrap those. Ah, Mr. Sluggy. Uh, there were some books up there. I was debating if I wanted to try to grab them. <laughs> Supply armor falls off the roof. Oh, I remember this house. <laughs> Like Jesse. There we go. Machine gunner, shoot to kill. Automatic weapons do more damage. And coffins give uh, jewelry and stuff. Uh, let's not go down the rest of there. Let's just get moving. More smarty glasses. Scrap. Uh... Crap. So. All right, now we're moving. <laughs> we got the uh, the basic tools. I still don't have a grill, which I'm not sure I need a grill, since I can make my precious. Bacon and eggs with the pot, but uh, I don't have a grill. That's the only other one I can think of. You have a construction site. Ah, no stamina. <laughs> don't need you any more chickens. Now I'm eating snake for the rest of the game. The 
save. Mm, take in the cash. We're going to save the other shotgun for a backup in case I lose what I've got. I think I'm going to save the engines. I can quick sell them if I need to. You're looking kind of rough. You didn't get bit, did you? Mm. Uh, it's going to be pipe bombs. You know, I always ah, the barn. The work. barn. I'm I'm passing it's familiar with the barn. <laughs> well, maybe really? Um, well, okay then. Or a buried supply. I need the barn. If you do this for me. That way I, I can do it twice. Hurry back soon, and I'll have a nice reward for you. Nine mil. So much nine mil. I don't want armor piercing. There we go. Standard 762. No armor piercing, please. Ooh, a lot of good food. Bacon and eggs. Mm, I would like a BDU. I need uh, I need a, a light at night too. See, there's a fully functional bicycle you could just purchase from the merchant. <laughs> oh my, stun batons, schematic. Uh, if we're gonna focus on the baton, it would be really good to get that because I can max it early and get uh, higher level batons. Uh, I'm tempted, and it's gonna disappear. I gotta buy it now or it's gone. Yeah, well, let's buy it. Remember me if you need medical supplies. And we're out of cash. Not good. Very much not good. All right, let's do a quick stop back at base. I have to make some decisions. Day three. I got to look at the map. I got to figure out if I want to try setting up uh, the tower again. If I do the tower again, I'd really like to mix it up and maybe do the death tunnel tower version. Out of the moat version. For that, though, I need to be sure I can get an early auger. If I can't get an auger early, it's not going to make a difference. Oh, I forgot to empty the bike. Damn it. Empty bike first. Yeah, I'll give it all to. Energize. I always turn the wrong direction when I hit that floor. <laughs> I don't know what it is in my brain that causes that, but I pretty much always do. Keep that stuff. And leave some of that home. Leave that home. Um, I'm never. I'm not going to use the crossbow. I'm going to stick with the bow. I'm used to it. I'm good with it. So we're not going to do the crossbow. So we'll just scrap that stuff. Save that. Save that. Save that. And back up smarty glasses.
More dynamite. Pipe bombs. Pipe bombs are good. Pipe bombs and molotovs. I'll take all of those they want to send me. Or you guys want to send me. All right, so we've got our shock baton. We've got uh, a little bit of 762. And we've got the shotgun. I'm not sure the 7.62 is worth me carrying around. I've got such a limited ammo, and if it's not going to be dropping 7.62 rounds in the ammo supply you guys are sending me, it's going to be too hard for me to keep buying more. So I might stick with just these two for now. I just really, really prefer having a submachine gun or a rifle for uh, birds, for spiders, things like that. I think I'll keep the cash on the on the uh, the bike. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna show up. I think it's just uh, nine mil. I haven't seen a pistol yet either, which is kind of surprising. Maybe it's just rare. I remember seeing previously we had uh, had some show up. I don't know if they were because of the game stage advancing or just random luck. Actually, don't need the shovel very often. We'll go with that arrangement. Mods. Pocket mod's okay. I don't generally use the hunter mod. I don't need to hunt animals too much. But it's a saleable item. Pocket mod. Put it on our head. Pocket on my forehead. So, the pocket mod, if you're not familiar with Seven Days to Die, the different clothing items and weapons and so on can hold mods, which affect their abilities. Pocket mod just gives me one extra slot. There's also a double pocket mod and a triple pocket mod, which basically lets you carry more and more stuff without being overburdened. That's their, their point or their purpose. I don't have any shoes. I'm running around barefoot. <laughs> oh yeah, we brought back that. Get that cooking. Uh, come here, you. Recipes. Boiled water. And the level of the item dictates how many mods it's allowed to have. So this level 3 shovel, I can have two mods on, for example. Level 5, I could have three mods. Kind of depends on the item. Guns are sometimes wacky with how many they're allowed to have. but For the most part, the higher the level... The uh, more effective the tool, as well as the more mods you can put on it. I'll just let that burn until that coal's gone. All right, back down we go. Is this the floor I can't jump from effectively? Hey, arrow. <laughs> give me, give me, give me that back. Yeah, that's the one I can't effectively jump from. All right, 1740. What to do? I need cash. I need to raid certain buildings. Our quest from the one merchant that's willing to give us local quest is, of course, <laughs> right next to the other merchant. I'm not doing the bunkers yet. I guess I should probably do something like clear the poppin' pills to make sure I've got plenty of the initial medical gear. That is pretty Glad close to see here. You're doing well. Laughing face. Hey there, Citizen Six. Thanks very much. Appreciate the uh, the concern for my welfare <laughs> and the resub. Okay, zombies. Where are the zombies? Wake up, zombies. Come on. Everybody wake up. Or at least a goodly number of you. Oof. Out of stamina. 
Man, this stamina is bad. That didn't go the way I wanted. <laughs> Group up, you stupid zombos. Come on. I want a two for one. That's what I want. <laughs> I want to double my pleasure, double my fun. Alright, now we should be able to at least loot the front. I think there's still some spawns in the back that didn't didn't kick off. Energize! Pain pills! I don't care about the stupid blood bags. Never make first aid kits anyway. Same with grain alcohol. I don't know why I picked those up either. I guess I should just sell them. All right, nothing there. Ugh. Come on, game. <laughs> Something other than the useless ones. Eh. Actual medicine in the medicine place would be nice. Don't really need those. Don't really need that. Well, maybe like twice this entire challenge I'll need a vitamin. So seldom that you get hit with that particular malice. That's what I need. I need more of the first aid bandages and painkillers. That's really all I care about. Those two. Everything else. Don't care. I already got that one. Alright, there's going to be some zombies fall out of the roof right over there too. I was hoping I had gotten them to spawn, but I don't think I moved back far enough to trigger it. Yeah, we got a few things at least. That's pretty good. Got my two beakers for my two chemistry stations, so we're all set for those now. more like it so they kept the good stuff over on this side <laughs> all right I think that's most of all the easy accessible come on zombies oh my gosh I'm totally shocked there are zombies back here who would have guessed I had no idea. Meds. Alright, I think usually I just go through the door here. Simpler. <laughs> Damn you, nine mil! Damn you! <laughs> you give me ammo for nine mil, but you don't give me weapons for nine mil. Alright. Another group on the way. Come on. Yeah, I don't have the uh, I don't have the stamina to drop these things. Will I kneecap these two? Eh, 
Yeah, they're being polite about it at least. Coming for me one at a time. Whoa, she actually broke through there? How the hell did you do that, Missy? Here, let's let's fire this once. <laughs> Just so I can say I have. Make sure it works. Alright, first thing you do after combat, reload all the things. All the things. Reload them. So many vitamins. So much grain alcohol. <laughs> Random cart's got a bunch of training books in it. Toilet pistol, please. No toilet pistol for Vormithrax. Toilet pistol, come on. I asked nice. I would like to be on the other side of the zombie, please. <laughs> Bad zombie. I'm trying to remember... This is where it has the ladder going up, right? Yeah. At some point I need to take the time to open that up. Then I also need to go downstairs and finish that off. For now though, it's getting a little late. It's getting close to dark. I still need to be a little cautious about the uh, the dark times. So, I'm going to consider that a mostly finished successful raid. We also need to hit the uh, crack a book here, and we need to have a working stiff down the other way we need to hit. But, let's go drop all this stuff off. Hey Mike, you can keep the cash. Other way, other way, left, left. 